We begin tonight with this somber milestone you just heard on the evening news. 500,000 Americans have died because of COVID-19. Fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, friends, co-workers. Almost 20% of those deaths happened in just the past month as cities and states across the country, including here in Illinois, begin to ease restrictions. But over the weekend, a CBS viewer reached out to us concerned about what they saw happening in a West Suburban concert venue. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live. Megan, it is pretty disturbing. Right, Brad and Erica, it looks like a pre-pandemic concert. The only problem is these videos were snapped on Saturday at this venue in Lombard, and it's not the first time that the Brower House has been the center of a CBS2 investigation. Fresh cigarette butts are outside the front door at Bee House Live. Several social media videos posted over the weekend claim to show the Out Cold Volume 2 concert. Snapchat maps show video after video geolocated to Brower House. It was advertised on Facebook as a socially distant event. Promoters said tickets and tables were, quote, very limited, and there would be temperature checks at the door. Wear a mask, the invite said. But videos from Saturday only show a few. According to Phase 4 guidelines of the Restore Illinois plan, all gatherings are capped to 50 people or fewer. One of the DJs advertised by the venue posted his view from the stage with the comment, Chicago, I love you. Looks like more than 50 people. So how was this party allowed to happen, especially after a proposed New Year's party had already raised the alarm? I think it's just insanely dangerous. We tried the owner that we spoke to back in December. He eventually called us back but said he's no longer part of management. And our emails and messages to the current management were read but never responded to. In December, the village of Lombard told us the venue has been the subject of complaints before and has been working with the DuPage County Health Department with regard to enforcement. Today, the health department told me ongoing complaints and investigations are confidential and therefore not available. Quote, we will get back to you if details become available that can be shared and are relevant to public health response. Today, the village of Lombard told me they had not received any complaints regarding this specific event, but they had been coordinating with the health department and state agencies regarding previous violations. A spokesperson told me this is still under investigation. Erica. All right, Megan, thank you.